Hey everyone, Coach Eric here from Live Better, Die Slower in the SEBA Fitness Channel. And today we are talking about how to keep from gaining that extra weight over the holidays. So I want to share with you five things that have really helped me survive the holidays ever since I decided living a healthier lifestyle would be a top priority in my life. Now these five tips are doable little things that really do make a big difference. All right, let's jump right in, shall we? Number one, don't get over hungry. Eat extra protein and vegetables. Believe it or not, but eating too little or waiting too long in between meals can make us eat way too much when the next meal rolls around. Not only that, but when we are low on energy from not eating enough, we tend to make poor decisions and just want a quick boost from things like sweets and other starchy carbohydrates. See, those foods are like the equivalent of an upper. Eating extra or more frequent meals of protein, healthy fats, and veggies are a great way to feel satisfied longer and have more energy in the tank between meals. Not only that, but eating whole foods are much less calorically dense than processed carbohydrates. Stay fueled over the holidays to avoid the sadistic surge of carbohydrate cravings. Number two, don't make too much food or accept leftovers to take home. Let's face it, excess is a dominant theme during the holidays and leftovers can last for days, adding a large increase in our caloric uptake during that time. Remember, it only takes a 3,500 calorie surplus to gain a pound and that can easily be done in a day or two, even a meal or two. Heck, some desserts alone during the holidays will put on half of that. So minimizing access to leftovers is a pretty easy way to save a few pounds. Simply put, if it's not there, you won't eat it. Try to be a little more measured in how much you make. Or if you're not the one who cooks, don't be afraid to tell Aunt Sally that you can't take that half an apple pie home with you. Number three. Actually remind yourself, I don't like to feel bad. Look, you want to have a great holiday and not feel like shit through most of it. Because feeling bad is actually bad and it diminishes a lot of other things that we could have enjoyed a little bit more. Yes, we actually have to remind ourselves of this. A simple but overlooked truth when staring down a spoonful of extra whipped topping. But let's get practical. If you keep gaining two or three little pounds each year during the holidays, in 20 years you would be 60 pounds heavier. You may say, yeah, but I'll lose it in the spring, spring or summer, but will you really? How much did you weigh five or 10 years ago? If it was less than now, then your behavior pattern is moving you in the wrong direction. Plus, as we get older, it gets harder to lose weight, and the real punch to the face is this. When you gain weight, you change something called your set point. And basically this means whatever your heaviest weight you top out at is, your brain makes a note of it and it always tries to get you back there. You see on an unconscious level, your body likes to be heavier. Your body sees extra weight as a positive resource of potential energy. Just like we always like to have a certain amount of money in the bank to feel safe, your unconscious brain doesn't care about looking better in a bathing suit. Its needs are primal and it will try to sabotage you all the time with subtle tricks to get you to put that extra weight back on. Number four, celebrate during the actual holiday and not the whole season. Yes, there are a couple significant days of celebration, but there are a bunch of less significant gatherings in between Thanksgiving and Christmas Eve. Whoever brought cookies to your kids' choir holiday concert, that was really kind of them, but this is not necessarily the kind of event that we are saving ourselves for. Make the actual holiday even more special by eating those true favorites, those childhood favorites that only come a few times a year. If you feel like you held out and earned that decadence, then the treats are even more special and even taste better. Like a good friend of mine says, to wait is great. Thanks Jennifer Hunt for that line. 
or if holding out long enough just isn't a realistic option, then assign yourself a prescribed number of treats, like one a week or one a day. Whatever realistically expands your timeline in between eating unhealthy food. You want something that feels more disciplined than usual and makes you feel like you're in more control. It's a very important thing to keep your hands on the wheel. You don't have to have a perfect record during the holidays. You just need to have a winning one. If you just do better than you did last year, then that's a very big win. And next year will be even better. Number five, tone it down a notch and manage your stress levels. Another one of those tricky biological things about our bodies is that excess stress is a big culprit of weight gain. When the body goes through longer periods of stress, those primal systems start packing on the pounds for safekeeping. Remember, besides staying alive, having food to eat in the upcoming days was humans' original stress, and that's why we would keep on our weight. The holidays are naturally more intense with money being spent events, and extra obligations. So it's real important that we don't say yes to things we really don't need to, or try to make things unnecessarily complicated. It's like inflating a tire that already has too much air in it anyways. Go for the sweet spot this year. Make this holiday season about something deeper and real. Connecting with people more than food and things is very important. Make it the holiday when you actually put the good stuff back in. I promise you, the more you make managing your stress and activity levels a conscious priority, the more you will actually enjoy your holiday. Too much is the same thing as too little, and there's a big difference between stimulation and gratification. Now obviously there are things that you can't control, crazy relatives and more and more events to go to that you have to be there for, but there is so much that we can cut out if we are looking for places to trim the fat over the holidays. Well Tribe, those ideas are how I've been trying to survive the holidays for the past decade and each year gets a little bit easier for me. Think about trying to have a better relationship with the holidays by redefining what's important, like not feeling like crap and connecting more with the people you love. Now go out there and actually enjoy it. Please subscribe to our pages, Live Better, Die Slower, and the SIVA Fitness Channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now go get busy living.